Hello, welcome. I'm Ellie. Man, I'm still getting used to that. And, oh, I mean, I've been Ellie for a long time. But anyway, so this is today. We are building the Candy Castle stage. And you know that I am going to wax lyrical about the missed opportunity from Lego to incorporate mini dolls alongside mini figures in this theme. But anywho, I'm going to talk about this a lot. So 344 pieces in this is $40 in a stride. And it is kawaii cute. And one of the mini figures, I mean, the Candy Ballerina, hello, should have been a mini doll. But the the, uh, the the bear is um he, he's a gummy bear. I mean I don't even need him as a mini doll. I just basically want a mini doll with the wacky hair and a ballet skirt. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. Right. Okay. So colors. These colors are actually oh this is his head. There's a gummy bear's head. These colors go really well with eh, 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 the surface beachfront. That's what I was thinking while I was building the surface beachfront. Look at that hair piece. It's just delightful. Oh my gosh. Okay. So too many figures in this set. First one I'm going to put together is the ballerina, like the crazy ballerina. She'd have a name and I can't remember what it was. Was it Candy Ballerina or something like that? But still, should have been a mini doll. How amazing would this, it's so kawaii. It's just amazing and I want this. Look at that. Why, why can we not have these sort of, th I know it's like incredibly girly, but hello, embrace your girliness. Let's have some of these in the mini dolls. Okay, I'm ranting. Anyway, so this hairpiece came with the mermaid as well. And it's, um, it, it's, oh no, it's, well, it's slightly different because it doesn't have those streaks on it. So it's beautiful though. It's beautiful. Oh, I've lost it and we've barely even begun. Okay, so she comes, I mean, these are all musicians. She comes with a pink microphone, which is perfect. But are you ready? Gummy bear. He's amazing. Look at his see-through blue legs. So he's blueberry bear, something like that. I should have paid attention to what the actual descriptor was on the box. Check out the printing on the back of his shirt and these <laughs> in his legs. I can see your joints, dude, but that's okay. And his head is fabulous. It just looks so, it does look squishable. It's not, but it does really look, it, it catches that, oh, but it, like jelliness. It's, yeah, it, is there another layer of see-through on the outside of the blue? I think there might be. Okay, and he has got the um, pink, the pink stripey guitar, having trouble with words, and I've put it on the wrong way around. Let's put it over here the way you actually play guitars that the mermaid had before. So, were you seeing, seeing some replicated instruments? in this theme but you know I'm okay with that because they are really awesome so two minifigures included in this set one should have been a mini doll and I did that where did that voice come from I just don't get it and this is the, the stand the display stand and here are our printed beat bits tiles so let's see what I've got this new we've got melty man I don't know what these are. I, I tell you this every time. I have no idea. Oh, a Bollywood theme one. I think I actually bought this one from Bricklink. I don't know. A kazoo! I know I have this one, but once again, I can't remember if I got it in one of the packs or if I brought it from Bricklink because I'm addicted to these. They're so good. I know I have the panda one. It's so cute. I don't even remember what these do in the app, but they're <laughs> so good. Uh, the opera singing lady or flamenco lady. I've already got, already got that one. Um, this one, which is really pretty. Uh, it looks like an equalizer. I've got that one. This one, which I like to call the Red Among Us dude, also got that one. Or he's a red welder. I think it's the welder. The red welder. Ooh! Drippy hearts! <gasps> Drippy hearts. Two hearts that drip as one. Uh, and the Ziggy Mouse! This was my favourite from the very first set that I opened. It's so cute. I think this is a... No, I could be wrong, but I think this might be exclusive to this set. The Carousel one. And this one also, maybe? So, like that one. It, I, I just... Oh, now I'm quite keen to find out what they do in the app. Oh, this guy. He suffers from motion sickness. Especially if I turn him upside down and I shake him around. I'm not going to do that because motion sickness is not a joke. It's not fun. And oh, what is this? It looks like iced tea. I don't even know which way is up the right way for most of these. So that looks like a cartoon speech bubble explosion -y kind of thing. This one also, it's quite generic looking this one. I like it, but no idea what it, like which way it's up. Maybe that way where it kind of looks like it says pluck, pluck. This one is just, <laughs> all it needs is an ACDC insignia and it would totally work. And I've definitely already got this one with the confetti cannon. Okay, so this stand is designed to hold one of the minifigures and you can scan it into your app if you have any interest in doing that, which I kind of do now. Oh, I hope the app's better. Right, let's start building the Candy Castle stage. These are just insane, these builds that they've released. 
Now is the second wave of the video sets and they're full of colour and they're just full of whimsy. And you all know I love whimsy, but I also love mini dolls and I would like to see some more of them. Okay, these spinny bits here, I'm ranting. I oh, know I'm ranting. I really should give it a rest. Ooh, ooh, mint coloured dots on here. And so that's the front. That's going to be the stage part. On the back, we're putting brown on. It's got to be chocolate. We got chocolate and candy. Oh, we've just made a candy, like a little bonbon. We are making bonbons out of quarter pie circles and circles, full circles. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Is this like a, oh, like that's the steps up onto the stage, a chocolatey step up onto the stage. No hold on there are taps. Oh, everybody, this is not a drill. I think, oh, <laughs> I think that this is a chocolate fountain with a pool down the bottom. Look, we can put the, oh, actually we should probably take him out because he has the fountain -y bit. Oh, wow. Okay, has that piece ever come in brown before? That normally, that's normally like the big blue, uh, blue, blue waterfall piece. Oh my gosh. So we've got a chocolate fountain out the back for the uh, musicians to chill. <laughs> <laughs> you will be paid in chocolate and exposure. The best form of money. Oh, all right, so what do we have now? So we have chocolate fountain, which I still haven't quite gotten over yet. Some white wand pieces here going in the back of whatever this is. <gasps> right, so these are the hi-hat simply kind of things. This is a, this is a <laughs> very cotton candy flavored, colored, not flavored because I haven't tasted it. It could be, though, it could be. Um, no, it's not, I'm not gonna taste it. It's plastic, it's not gonna taste like cotton candy, but I might. <gasps> what if I know? All right, so <laughs> these are the drum sets and these are the drumsticks. And look at that. <gasps> oh, so good. Okay, all right. And these bits here, I thought there might be some more hi hats, but they are not. They are some spotties, some spotlights to highlight whatever action's happening on the stage while the gummy bear dude's just hanging out in the chocolate fountain out the back. Speaking of chocolate fountains, there's a drippy stage bit here. Is it just like a, no, it is. It's the, like the, <laughs> it's a solo stage section at the front, but they can't stand centered on it, which kind of bugs me. Right, we're at the end of bag one. Got a few colorful pieces left, nothing that we shouldn't have. And bag number two is where, I just can't help myself. I'm going to see how we can turn her into a mini doll. It's really hard because the mini doll doesn't actually have, we don't have mini doll things like this. So this, which I made for my homemade, uh, easy to make DIY clay tutus, that's the best I can do. And I painted the legs. The top is Ariel's top. Um, and this face, I think the cartoony face goes best. I've chosen this top simply because it's the only top I have it's kind of the right colour. We don't have, and there's nothing that is as wacky as the minifigures outfit for mini dolls, which just makes me sad. Bring us some cray cray mini dolls. That looks quite cute though. I wonder if this skirt would do better. I'm not totally fond of this skirt. And it's certainly, I don't think it works as a tutu. It works as one of those bigger soft ballet skirts, I suppose. But she certainly doesn't look like the minifigure. So sad. I am very, very sad. But I do love this hair piece. <laughs> and it looks pretty good on a mini doll too. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. That's so cool. All right. But yeah, come on. Come on, Lego. Just, just make it happen. I'm going to keep ranting. It won't happen, but you know. So look, see how good they would look side by side? Can they not coexist peacefully together? <sighs> Sad sigh. Oh well, let's continue on. Let's do the second part of this build, the second bag, and find out how this Candy Castle stage goes together and I will just wipe my tears away with the Lego bags. So this, the terribly, they're not absorbent by the way. <sighs> okay, so this is, I have no idea what it is. So we've got we got a candy side and we've got a chocolate side. This is the chocolate side at the moment. It's speakers, right? Okay, we need two of these. So you can turn them. So they go on those little flippy bits on the edge and you can turn them so you can choose whether you want to have the candy bits to the front or the chocolate bits to the front. And these bits on here are gonna kind of trap them in but still allow them to turn. This, we got another turntable up here. So many awesome colors in this set or in these sets in general. I'm very keen to do the pirate ship and to do the boom box as well. Ah, oh, the bills just look really, really fun. And I love fun and colorful. Okay, so I have got our cones happening. We've got something happening up here with another turntable. 
And we'll put our we'll put our gummy bear back in here. These are actually oh we need four of these. So these are the little turrety bits on the top, which turn it in. Yeah, I forgot that bit. Sorry. <laughs> Were you just shouting at me? Ellie, stop rambling and put the bottom of the ice cream cone on. I have now, so it's okay. Okay, so uh, we've got some turrety bits at the top, which also make a really good. You know, they're part of the stage. They're a they're a display. They're a performance section up at the top. This is really colourful and so pastel and delicious looking, but don't eat it. <laughs> no, don't. So bag number three, uh, now we can figure out what's going on in the back here. So we got the stage bit out the front, out the back is the musician's chilling area. So backstage, but not like any backstage that I have been, uh, been, been behind. Does that make any sense? I don't know. We've got some sort of a little cupcake there in a in a glass jar, glass display, and this looks like a kind of. This, it's not a mirror. It's see through. So <laughs> it's see through like a mirror, like a, a dressing table mirror. Got a brush on one side. Got a clip on the other side to put something random on. I don't know what. Maybe to hold the guitar. And this is Dunno. It looks like we're building a brick head. It's got the outward facing studs. It's definitely taking the right shape as for a brick head. Uh, oh, okay. We got a brown bit, which is going to match our chocolatey theme. And this is going to make a face. This is like a little gingerbread man face. <gasps> okay. And except he's a gingerbread man DJ with big, like, headphony things. And on the other side, we get a candy colored one. I was about to say flavoured. I'm really, really glad I didn't because that would be concerning because <laughs> now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> oh, it's a worry. So this side is, yeah, is the candy side and we're making a, a bear. Oh, it's so cute. With all these smooth tile pieces. So that's a little nose, little eyeballs, which I'm going to, I'm going to move this one a little bit just so that they're kind of as, as matchy as they can be. So you can spin it and decide which way you want to be facing front. You can have, you can have gingerbread DJ man, or you can have candy bear DJ. Okay. So this is cool. This is so cool. And I could use these. I, I mean, I don't know what these for, are for, but I reckon I could use them to display the extra pieces, possibly what they're for, those extra beat bits. Now, where am I going to put this? Maybe this could go, could you put it on here? I don't think it's not designed to go on there, but you could, I suppose. It kind of ruins it though. What if I put it back? No, it's definitely not designed to be in there. Right. Okay. So this is it. This is the Candy Castle stage. I'm having trouble saying that now because I've giggled too much. And if we kind of mix this up with the Candy Ballerina mini doll version, and I could put my Folk Fairy mini doll version up here. Is that words? Yeah, that words. And leave our, leave the, leave the gummy bear as he is because he looks fantastic. Look at them. They look so good together. And you can mix this around and turn around and cut whatever you want to be facing front and that's really it's so much fun <laughs> I don't think I'm not even convincing myself with my mini doll version here of the ballerina maybe if I put the different skirt on oh kind of maybe oh, I don't know I'll well, just make it happen Lego how hard can it ostensibly be really okay now's the time to subscribe run away because I've ranted too much but there was a lot of cute we did have a lot of cute so there is that <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in another video soon. <laughs> Bye!